Anyway, those are just five areas of preparedness. I'm going to touch on the first one right now. Food prep. Uh, food is a big part of your mental well-being. Nutrition. You need to feed the machine, so to speak. If you're doing any type of physical activity, you realize that you need to put fuel in your body in order to have the best results. Uh, my fiance says it's like treat your body like a car, you know, perform maintenance, you know, eat good things, put good things in. You're going to get the desired result out of your body that you want. Cut out that McDonald's, cut out that high fructose corn syrup. Cut out all things that are meant to store in your body that cannot naturally be processed in your body and get rid of that out of your diet. You'll feel a lot better. Um, what we've done is we've done some uh, long term bulk. Uh, stores uh, from meats to, to vegetables to rices to grains um, anything that you can use as basic proteins will help you out um, in, in an emergency type situation whether that emergency is 10 hours whether that emergency is one hour what happens if it's three days what happens if the water goes out what would you do I got water I know I do do you have some you keep five gallons how many people do you have in your house starting to click um, one way to save some money in, in getting some preparedness um, as far as food is concerned is clip coupons look at the ads find which stores in your area have the best deals don't always go to your safe ways and your bashes check out the dollar store in your area you know check out the local um, store that has fresh produce and find a way to either vac seal it or dry it down um, those in in midwest or the east or in more humid type climates might need a more high power dehydrator here in the desert <laughs> it's the desert so the air is a little bit more dry or arid and um, you can do a lot with food storage as far as um, dehydrating it down also if you if you look at a, a bug in situation bug in means you're you are staying inside um, you should think that you need a roughly three pounds of food a day per person you know uh, if you're outdoors doing activities you up that to about five pounds a day because you need that caloric intake to to be able to um, do things out that, that you need to do to survive um, basically that's really it folks um, I have some links um, I, I wish that that uh, you take this information to heart um, I found one thing, and I don't care what people say about the Mormons, they've come to just about all of our, our doors talking about, hey, you know, listen to the, the church of, you know, John Smith or whatever. Hey, I don't have anything against them. In fact, I've even been to the Mormon uh, <laughs> temple in Utah. Imagine that. But um, if you go to LDS.org, and I got this tip from uh, another video I saw on YouTube where a guy went to his local um, LDS um, food supply store if you will and walked away with 900 pounds worth of food for roughly three hundred and ninety five dollars most people again you consume with life you're doing things you're on the go it's the you know the kind of deer in the headlights type syndrome if you're, you're thinking about um, doing some of this preparedness business but it's a quick and easy way for pennies on the dollar to have some stores and some of that's canned some of that's dehydrated um, I saw a price for a 25 pound bag of red wheat um, for seven dollars and sixty five cents hey you know you, you can make something out of wheat and it's just a matter of researching how to do it um, but check out LDS.org um, I'll put some actually I think I'm going to email to those that I know um, a local LDS supply store in their region. Um, I have some people in the Chicago area, people in Michigan, um, definitely folks here in Arizona. I, I found three of them and they also come with a price list um, as far as availability in other states. I just know Arizona is open to the free public. So you go to, <laughs> right to 101 in Broadway, right in Tempe, and you can go pick up some food for yourself three months bare minimum just to have it you know what's, what's worst case is hey this if you don't have to use it you simply say hey I don't have to buy food for three months and where else could you go spend that money you could probably save it but um, it's definitely to, to have it and not need it and then to need it and not have it thank you all for listening 
um, if you don't want to create a YouTube ID where you can comment on this commentary feel free to email me at SavoX23 at yahoo.com and I'll reply any questions comments please feel free to comment back add some topics that you'd like to hear my commentary on um, I'm sure I won't have a lack of them <laughs> though for those who know me but uh, good evening have a great work week and um, God bless all of you